Welcome to the Rodney O'Hepsian Show. I am Rodney O'Hepsian. Yeah. Yeah, I have to be happy about that. I'm happy I'm not David Pakman, and this isn't David Pakman's show. Yeah, this, this episode's about David Pakman. He's this guy, he doesn't know shit, first of all. He knows a little something, but he doesn't know shit. He's this up-and-coming... Is he a pundit? He's a pundit. He's an up-and-coming pundit. I think he's in his late 20s. He looks like he's a high school sophomore, but I think he's in his late 20s. I'll bet he went to some horseshit college. Probably, I'll say UC Berkeley, most likely. I know. You can just tell, usually. He went to UC Berkeley. Probably majored in some horseshit subject. Definitely not science. Science is the only legitimate subject at a university. And I mean science science, not psychology. That's, I don't know what that is. So he, he basically, he runs his mouth. A lot on everything that happens. I do that too, but that's not really the same. Anyways, this guy is, you know what? He's not as bad. Some guys are unbearable. Some guy, Chenk Uyghur, for instance, that guy, and I don't mean unbearable, I can put up with it. Liberals can't. Liberals can't watch Glenn Beck, even when they're high on their marijuana, which is frequently, most of the time, even when they're high on marijuana, they can't take it when they watch Glenn Beck. I can take it. I watch MSNBC. I'm subscribed to Chenk Uyghurs, the Young Turks YouTube channel. I'm subscribed to David Pakman because I'm a broad-minded man and because I want to study the enemy. Chenk Uyghurs is the worst. He has this smug expression on his face. It's unbelievable. It's always there. It's permanent. Permanent expression. He's always in love with himself. MSNBC. I guess they have to give him a show. When you're that full of yourself, you have to get an MSNBC show. So David Pakman, if you want a show too, I think you're going to have to be really full of yourself. Just always, nonstop. Just satisfied. Oh, look at me. I'm David Pakman. I'm right about everything. These guys are ridiculous. Anyone who disagrees with me is completely ridiculous. Just try to be like Chenk, I suppose. Try to be like him. It's impossible, though, to reach that level. No one else has ever done it except Obama. Chenk and Obama. So yeah, if you reach that level, you either get a show on MSNBC or you'll become president, apparently. Or at least you'll become the Democratic candidate for president. Basically. So David Pakman, you might want to aim for that. Hopefully you won't do that though, but... Anyway, David Pakman, not as bad as Chenk. But he's basically a liberal asshole. He doesn't know a damn thing. Let's go to his Wikipedia page. David Pakman. What kind, what kind of a name is that? David Pakman? You're Jewish, aren't you, David? You're a disgrace to Jews. David Pakman, did you change your name? You changed your last name? I mean, you mentioned the fact that you're a Jew, but you're still... I'm pretty sure you're hiding your Jewishness. You're a disgrace to us Jews. By the way, I'm Jewish. Am I Jewish? I'm Jewish. No? I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm Jewish. Let's, let's just say I'm, I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. I am Jewish. Am I Jewish? Well, I'm Jewish. You're a disgrace to our people. David Pakman? No. Even if you didn't change your last name, you should change it to something more Jewish. Goldstein. David Goldstein. I'll let you keep the Pacman too, because you've built a brand, probably. David Pacman Goldstein. DPG. I think that people will go for that, too. DPG. There. There's some free advice. Change your name to David Pacman Goldstein. Stop being such a traitor to all your people. This is unbelievable. Here's a Wikipedia page. Just some bonus commentary. You keep on talking about... You always mention a bonus show. Stop mentioning that. Bonus, I don't give a shit. 1984, 27 years old. February, how dare you? How dare you? That's an insult to our presidents. The fact that you're born around President's Day, that same month? No, I'm changing that to January. You're born January 28th, 1984. There's no February 2nd. Should I edit this? I won't edit it, but I don't want to get banned from Wikipedia. All right, University of Massachusetts. Well, I was pretty close. Whatever. Bachelor of Arts, double majoring in economics and communication, double majoring in bullshit, basically. Oh, good. Congratulations, David. Okay, in 2009, I graduated with an MBA from Bentley University in Waltham, Waltham, Massachusetts. Religion atheist. Oh, big surprise. No. David Pakman Show. Is there any intelligence? And just to show you what a tolerant, rational, broad-minded, nice guy I am, I'm going to give you some advice, some suggestions, some ideas for your show. 
That's what I do. I'm not trying to wipe your show off the face of the earth. That's what you want to do to Glenn Beck. But I'm a noble, honorable man, and I'm going to give you some suggestions. I know what I'm talking about, probably. Don't give me an executive producer credit, though. Any credit at all. I don't want to be associated. Just give me money. Give me money if these work. You're probably never even going to listen to this, but so what? Whatever. I do this all day. I don't care. You know, I don't care. So what? You need to interview people more often. Interview people. Interview them. You know, I, I was going to say you should interview some Islamic fundamentalists, but liberals, they pretend Islamic fundamentalists don't exist. No, no, there are no Islamic fundamentalists. No, no such thing. There is such a thing, David, okay? I know you're eager to have Christian fundamentalists on your show. Yeah, all day. You know what? That's it. Put an Islamic fundamentalist on the show. I'm telling you. Do it. Do it. That'll distinguish you from Cenk Uyghur, that son of a bitch. So yeah, put the Islamic fundamentalists on the show. That'll make for some excellent radio. Very wide variety of characters. All of them. Get them all. Get a lot of different people on the show. That's what Wally George did. You need to watch more Wally George. Have you, do you even know who Wally George is? You better. You need to bring in people who are in the pornography industry so we can get an idea of how scummy they are. I think that's a good idea. Interview some porn people, porn directors, porn producers, police officers. Bring in some police officers. I know people who are into all this, left wing, right wing. They'll tune in if you interview a police officer about something controversial. Do it, David. I'm, I know what I'm talking about, okay? Bring in some hippies. Bring them in so we know, we'll know how insane their views are. You need some hippies. Conspiracy theorists. There are plenty of them. I don't know why you haven't done this already. This is ridiculous. You shouldn't need me to tell you all this. I'm a little disappointed in you guys. Bring in the conspiracy theorists. Cover alternative medicine. Bring in some people in that industry. Have them go head to head with people in conventional medicine. Excellent idea. I know what I'm talking about, David. Do it. I'm doing your work for you, David. What's going on here? Seriously. You need to think about that. Drug addicts. You're going to have to bring in some drug, some pro-drug people. Yeah, bring them in. There, you guys will probably worship them, but bring them in. You'll see exactly how ridiculous they are. Do you, I'm not sure if you're... Most liberals use marijuana. I'm not sure about you. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, you do this one a lot, but you should do it more. You got to interview racists. Yeah. Liberals love that. They love having racists on, so they can boo someone. They like booing racists. Boo, racism, boo. That's ratings right there. All racists, bring them on. And you better include some black people who hate whites too. All a wide variety of racists. Believe me, it'll get some ratings. I think you should disagree with Chenk Uyghur. Just go on record saying, you know what, Chenk, you're out of your mind. You're wrong about something. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you want to get into the whole you're not a real liberal angle. Is that a good idea? You got to do something, though. You know what, Chenk? Fuck you. There you go. That'll get you some ratings, too. Chenk, you don't know shit. That should be a segment on your show, on every show. Every show in America. I don't care what it is. I Love Lucy. I don't care if it's... Pokemon or whatever. They should all have a segment. Chank, you don't know shit. But definitely the David Packman show should explore that. That's a good idea. Yeah? That's a good idea. You're lucky to have me. You're lucky to have me, really. So Chank, you don't know shit. Oh, this is a good one. You need to bring on a conservative female regularly. Once a week. Yeah, have some sort of an exchange with her. Believe me, people will love it. They'll go for it. Every week, she comments on a story. You comment on it. You don't agree with her. She's right, by the way. She's right. She's a respectable young woman. She's a conservative. Someone like Elizabeth Hasselbeck. So you got that. Get into some sort of debate. Or maybe you can host a debate. Something to do with vaccinations. People go apeshit when, when anyone talks about vaccinations. 
you want people to go ape shit, right? Is that the goal here? If you're a pundit, you, someone going ape, yeah. I think that's a, a winning recipe. Something to do with vaccines. No, vaccine. Yes, vaccines. We need to vac mandatory. No, not mandatory. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, like that's not covered enough. There's demand for it. Yeah, vaccinations. Okay, what else? Do you also need like something blank of the week? Every week. I don't know, I can't come along. You have to do some thinking of your own, asshole. It's your show. But, um, like, politically incorrect tweet of the week. Something like that. Not that specifically. Charlatan of the week. You want to expose people. You're usually wrong, but you want to expose people as charlatans, like, freaking Penn and Teller. Those guys are freaking ridiculous. Or like a what was he thinking type segment every week what was he thinking this guy's out of his mind i can't believe he did that i can't believe he said that what was he thinking something like that yeah that seems like it's probably a good fit for you i'm not sure about that one it might be all right that's i don't have any more ideas i don't know i can do this all day whatever yeah by the way this is the rodney O'Hepstein show you're listening to David, and everyone else. I don't think anyone's made it this far. There's probably no one listening right now, but this is the Rodney O'Hepstein Show. David, your show's garbage compared to mine. It's horse shit. I should have your ratings. I should have Howard Stern's ratings, Rush Limbaugh's ratings. Both of those guys don't know shit. By the way, Rush Limbaugh, even though he's a conservative, he doesn't know shit. He's a phony. He's a lunatic. But anyways, I should have their ratings. I should have David Pakman's ratings. I most certainly should have Chenk. Why does Chenk Uyghur even have ratings? So, David, it's been an interesting journey we've had here. It has. It's been an interesting journey. I know you're not listening, but I'm listening. Am I listening? I'm not really listening either. I'm just... Well, I'm listening. I'm listening. Sure I am. Oh, yeah. How did I forget this one? David, you should have me on your show. I should be on your show. Just give me a segment. You know what? Give me 30 seconds. This is a good idea. There should be something in this for me, by the way. I've done all this work. Yeah, I should get 30 seconds every week. You have some sort of a segment. I preach the truth. Just an audio clip. I'm not going to actually go on your show. I'll have an audio clip for you. I'll email it to you. I'll email you a 30-second audio clip. You play that. You play that on your freaking show, David. You're basically... David Pakman's show is a spinoff of the Rodney O'Hepstein show from now on. It's a spinoff. I don't care if you started first. It doesn't matter. It's a spinoff. I'm your master. Do you hear me, David? I'm your master. You play my 30-second clip every week, and then you give your horseshit analysis, your counter-argument. Unless, of course, I'm talking about Israel, in which case you're going to support me. Good. I'll talk about Israel. You'll support me. Or I'll talk about something else. You'll disagree with me. It'll be fantastic. You'll get ratings. I'll get ratings. I deserve ratings. I don't know about you. I deserve ratings. It's a win-win situation, just like the U.S.-Israel alliance. Win-win. You know what I'm talking about, David. All right. And say hi to Lewis for me. Lewis, how you doing? 